Okay, this is a video on how to program the Dyna 2000i. I have a kick only shovel head and from the factory or from Dyna, these ignitions need three revolutions of the engine before they light up and give spark. Well, with a kick only bike, you can't have that. So I bought the Dynatech programmer, downloaded the software, and you can change to have any number of revolutions from zero to eight before the ignition lights up. Obviously, I changed mine to zero for the kick only option. So this is the way um, you go about this. I happen to buy the full kit, which is the D2KI-5P which also includes the single fire coil along with the ignition. The programmer is DIPK-1. That kit is sold separately. I happen to pick mine up for around $75. Anyway, you go to Dyna Online, which is Dynatech's website. Once you get to their website, you go to support and downloads. When you get the downloads, come down and click on software firmware. When you get the software firmware, I'm with a Harley Davidson, so I click on curve maker for Harley Davidson. And then it wants you to download the file. I already downloaded this file, so I'm not going to download it a second time. I stored it on my desktop right here. It comes in as a zipped file. You have to unzip the file, which is pretty standard. And then once it's unzipped, you can open this file. And that is the Curve Maker program. You go through the setup of the Curve Maker program. It's self guided, it's no big deal. And then it winds up on my desktop. I have the, or on my um, program, in my programs, I have the Dyna 2000 and I, so I open that up. Once it opens, I go to timing. The standard curve that in it is, it comes in it is curve number two, which this motor has a, um, a grind cam and has very short drag pipes that I made myself. I want the rev limiter to be 5,500. I don't need to over rev this bike. I changed the dev revs already to zero. Right now it's set up for dual fire. I set it up for single fire. And then I hit send curves. I've already done this, but I'll do it again says in progress, curve sent successfully. I click okay. And that's all there is to it, but I also wanna go over to wiring because they do not show you any wiring um, in the programmer kit, but the programmer to the Dyna Eye, it has a plug here. This plug has four wires, a white, a green, a violet, and a black. I happen to solder them because I have a soldering station. You could give them a long twist and twist them together. And I would also recommend taping them, but I left tape off for the video. It's white to white, green to green, violet to violet, and black is ground and you just ground it to the aluminum case of the Dyna 2000i. I plugged all this in first. I plugged my USB cable into the Dyna programmer. And last thing I did was plug this in, the USB cable into the computer. The reason being is the computer supplies power to the Dynatech. Now I'm a techie guy, so I happen to run the ground wire 
in the current mode through my digital voltmeter just to see how much current it was pulling. Um, it's very low current as you can see, so it was not an issue. It lights up. The last thing is you have to make sure that your number one switch is turned to off. The rest of the switches will not do anything once you use this software. They're no longer in service, but the number one switch has to be the off in order for the unit once you install it and set the timing. So if you have any questions, you can post them below and I'll see if I can't get to them. And I hope this helped.